Hello, hello, this is uh, Reggie Pinkston, Mr. I Wanna Go Fast, and you were interested in learning how to make money on YouTube without making videos. Well, let's get to it. 9to5killer.com I wanna go fast. In today's video, I will be showing you the new ultimate strategy to make money by re-uploading videos in 2021. And this is a strategy that I am using every single month. Now, if you don't believe me, we can take a look at my results right here. I don't By show way, you those don't results to, uh, to brag interfere or intervene, but um, please do like and subscribe to this video because you're going to love this one. And please do watch this all the way through because this guy drops some mega gems and you do not want to miss it he gives away a lot of free tools and i'm going to add on some free stuff too as well and um some different techniques and stuff so just stick all the way through the video because you're gonna you're gonna catch some catch some gems and you're gonna definitely learn a money-making technique that is gonna beat the rest to dust and most of it you can do for free all you got to do is just invest some time so with that, let's continue with the video. Remember, like and subscribe right now. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Now let's continue with the video. I'm just showing those results to show you that I know exactly what I'm talking about when I'm making these videos. I also have around four other channels that use this strategy that are still doing well that I use to make a full-time income online. This video will be a step-by-step -step strategy on how you can easily make money using a new method. And this is not the standard methods that you have seen in the past, which show you how to re-upload videos which have no actual value and cannot get monetized. This method is something that will actually work and have a real chance at succeeding. Lots of these other YouTubers make tutorials on things that are actually outdated and don't work especially not in 2021. Many of them teach strategies that used to work two years ago. But what they don't understand is that YouTube is a rapidly changing platform, a platform that is changing every single year. And in 2021, it's changing even more. And that's why I've made this tutorial, to be something that is using a new method and something that is currently to today's YouTube market. Especially since YouTube is constantly changing the guidelines on what can be monetized and what can't be monetized. So you need a new tutorial to teach you the newest strategy and one that works within YouTube's guidelines. So what is this new method that we will be using? The strategy that we will be using is the strategy of re-uploading videos that we find on other social media sites like TikTok. Now before you say that this strategy doesn't work or that this strategy is an old strategy that previous channels have used and you will become demonetized by using this method. Let's take a look at the example channel that's already successful doing exactly that. Now, before we look at this channel, this is a channel that has started only three weeks ago, meaning that this channel is actually relevant to today. And it means that you can start a new channel like this and you can be successful really quickly. Which means if you're watching this tutorial and you're early to this method, it means you should give this a go before all these channels start popping up and everyone starts using this new method. In addition, by the time I have finished editing this video, the channel will have grown even further. So the channel that we are going to be looking Trend at Royale. is a channel called Trend Royale. This is a channel that re-uploads clips from TikTok and Instagram and then compiles them into Super a compilation easy. format for the viewers to enjoy. And then what they do to monetize them via YouTube AdSense. As you can see here, the channel is monetized and ads are actually playing alongside these videos. Which means that this method is working and that this channel is not demonetized and these compilation videos are allowed as per the YouTube guidelines. So why are these compilation videos allowed? There's one there is thing, however skipping. one thing that this channel- that video a little bit further though. Like people watching that video, whatever, you could be like, if you would like to learn how, you know what I'm saying, or just put like something on the side banner, you could be like, if you would like to learn how you could make uh make money by making videos like this, check the links down below, right? And then you could just have a link to an affiliate program that teaches 
something just like this <laughs> or make or just learn this right here and do it yourself or write write all the important bits in this give it to somebody on fiverr let them dictate it for you wrap it up into a recording make that a training video and sell that for 20 25 dollars to 97 dollars and sell that for like a mini course or something like that and you just be like if you want to make money off making videos like this check below and you can say it or you can just use text right on the side pardon me but uh, yeah so that's you can monetize it for the adsense or more than just the adsense but all right let's continue sorry to intervene again let's get to it does which is different to many other channels which re-uploads videos this is the fact that this channel actually adds value to the clips they are uploading. One of the things I noticed when I was browsing online are looking at YouTube tutorials on how to make money by re-uploading videos. A common theme on these videos was to re-upload videos that are time lapses. For example, many tutorials will tell you to re-upload things such as a calm sea or jungle sounds for some peaceful meditation. The problem with this is that YouTube clearly states that this kind of content is no longer allowed to be monetized on the platform. If we look at the YouTube guidelines, we can clearly see the truth is. YouTube states that reused content is content that appears to be automatically generated. For example, synthetic voice reads, third party content, third party content compiled without a narrative, content uploaded many times by multiple users content uploaded somewhere else first. Now what we need to pay attention to is where it says content uploaded many times by multiple users. The main issue with this point is that everyone trying to start a meditation channel is going to be using the same exact clips right. from the royalty free sources. Meaning that this is something that simply won't work, especially since this kind of content looks auto generated and there's no real value in the video itself or value added to it. So what we need to do to our content is simply add a voiceover. And by adding a voiceover, we can protect ourselves from being demonetized. Now the thing with adding a voiceover is that many people have some issues. And the main issue that many people have when creating a voiceover is that their accent may not be that good, or their English may not be that good, which leads to them wanting to do one thing. The thing that most people want to do is they want to use text to speech. Now, when it comes to using text to speech on YouTube, text to speech is actually fine. And there are channels that are monetized today that re upload videos that use text to speech. I've even made videos on it. However, you have to understand that when you use text to speech, you're making it very hard for the YouTube reviewer to determine whether or not your content is auto generated. Even if you spend a long time editing your content and making that content, if you use text-to-speech software, the person who comes to review your YouTube channel and check it for monetization may think that your YouTube channel is actually auto-generated content because you use a synthetic voice. So I would always recommend using your own voice. And this is something that this channel called Trend very Royale does too. very, very well. They use a voiceover in every single one of their videos. So how do they make their videos? Let's take a look at an example video from the channel Trend Royale called Video with Unpredictable Endings Number One. So we can see that in the first opening seconds of the video, hey, yo, there is a voiceover that instantly said, too. This made me almost want to check out, uh, look this video up myself. And I watched this about like three times. Watch this hump, um, this, this white dude get down. He, he kills it. He kills it. <laughs> Let's get back to it. As Welcome to Trend Royale. <laughs> Check out this dance off. Take a look at this clip right here. Welcome to Trend Royale. Check out this dance off. <laughs> so as you can see in the opening seconds of the video, it's very important to make sure you actually add a voiceover. This is because if you do not do this, you are really risking whether or not your channel is going to be monetized. Because YouTube's policies have actually changed. You need to be able to show YouTube that you're actually adding value to the video. 
Now, it's important to note, you can't just add a voiceover in the beginning seconds and leave the rest of the video as a complete compilation. You need to make sure that there is a voiceover consistently in the video. Because if you don't actually add a voiceover in the entire video, or at least for the majority of the video, your video will still be seen as reused content. So what this video and that's does why you see is that every now and I'm again... Adding <laughs> A voiceover to this video right here but i'm also going to be adding some visual elements to the video as well like you'll be seeing my face in the corner probably in the lower left corner and also you'll be seeing no actually that won't be in the lower left corner yeah might be in the lower left corner of where the actual video is at and then i'll also have like a side strip that'll have some other content on it probably asking you to like and subscribe but you already did that right and also you know, share the video but you already did that so um yeah so i'll be having some other things like that so that's what's going to make this content different but i'm using almost the same strategy he's talking about here remember i've watched this video about like five times already and keep catching gems but yeah let's keep getting to it Again, they keep adding a voiceover before every clip, which helps to add value to the video and to make sure that the video is monetized. So how do we create this content ourselves? One of the first things that we would need to do is we would need to find where we are going to get our clips. Now one of the main places that memes actually originate from is TikTok. Now one thing to understand is that TikTok is a place which has millions of videos on it, meaning there's many different types of videos and many different types of memes and categories. Meaning that if you're going to make a compilation video, you need to be able to categorize the video. So for example, if we were going to make a compilation video, we wouldn't just title it Meme Compilation Episode 1. We would actually need to make sure that the meme compilation is actually relevant to the category that we're making the video on. So as you can see on the Trend Royale channel, there's all types of different categories of memes. Let's take a look at this video for example. It's called Funny Moments of Instant Karma Episode 1. This means that all the videos in this video are clips of instant karma. They aren't just random memes compiled together. They are actually a carefully picked selection of videos where there is instant karma. Meaning that if we were going to make ourselves meme compilation, we would need to firstly, before we even go on TikTok, we would need to pick ourselves a niche or a bunch of niches that we are going to use for different categories as our channel. So for this tutorial example, we are going to be making mm -hmm. a compilation of Instant Karma videos and we are now going mm -hmm. to have to firstly source the clips we are going to use. Now TikTok isn't like YouTube. With TikTok, the way how you search is you search with hashtags and hashtags wow. are basically the category that the videos are in or the type of video that you're looking at. So for a compilation video that is actually going to be about Instant Karma what we need to do is go over to TikTok.com on the desktop version. Now when you're on the TikTok website, head over to the search bar and type in TikTok.com forward slash tag forward slash Instant Karma. Now as you can see here, once we have actually entered our hashtag and found our source of videos, the next thing for us to do is simply download the videos we think are the best. Now downloading TikTok videos is very easy. All you need to do is just click on one of the videos that are titled Instant Karma. Once you've clicked on the video, over on the right hand side, where it says copy link, click this button. Now once you have this link copied to your clipboard, the next thing we want to do is we want to go to a website where we can download the videos. The website that we are going to be using in today's video tutorial is called ttdownloader.com. Now, this website how many allows you to download video. Downloader.com. There goes a gem right there. I've never heard of this before. And guess what? I'm gonna be using it. I'd like to know how many of y'all are gonna use this technique. Um, leave it, leave it down below. Matter of fact, if you're gonna use this technique, type easy down in the um the comments below if you're gonna use this technique because you know it's so easy. TT downloader, TikTok downloader, I guess, right? So um yeah get to it oh yeah and also he goes something else to add when they were talking about um the meme well i guess they're still talking about it the meme comp uh compilations i'm gonna give you another example you seen them bus it challenges those joints you know what i'm saying could go 
I've seen a couple people do some busted challenges. They get to the millions ASAP, ASAP. You know what I'm saying? So there goes an idea. The only thing about it, I think that it might be like a dated type thing. So you might want to catch those waves as they come. You see a challenge, throw a compilation of videos together, throw your tagging on it. But he's going to show you how to do the tagging. It's coming right up, all right? Bless it. <laughs> goes easily from TikTok by copying and pasting the link into the bar. All you need to do now is simply download the ones that you want. Make sure to download the video without the watermark, because when you have multiple watermarks in a video, especially from different sources, it can seem highly unprofessional. So be sure to download the video without watermarks. Once the video is downloaded, you need to repeat this process until you have a minimum of eight minutes of content. The reason you want to make sure that you have at least 8 minutes of content for your compilation is because YouTube now allows videos that are 8 minutes or longer to have mid-roll advertisements. Mid-roll advertisements increase the revenue you make from your video by at least 3 times. So if you want to maximize the amount of revenue that you will be getting per video, you need to make sure that you have your videos at at least 8 minutes in length. So once we have downloaded these videos to a folder, the next step for us is to make sure that we can actually put these clips into a compilation video and add some branding along with our own logo and watermark. This way, when we have the video published, it doesn't look like it's from a random channel. It looks like it's from a professional channel that is uploading high quality clips. How do we make a logo? So now we have everything ready. Our folder full of clips. Let's go ahead and make ourselves a quick wordmark logo. We are going to call this channel TikTok Royale. So let's open up Photoshop. A quick note, if you don't have Photoshop or cannot afford it, there are many ways to access Photoshop for free. All you need to do is to type in on the YouTube search bar how to download Photoshop for free in 2021. And as you can see, there are many free tutorials. So now with Photoshop opened, click Create New. Use the 1920 by 1080 template. With our document open, use the text tool and type out the name of your logo. My channel will be called TikTok Royale, so I will type out TikTok Royale in lowercase. I will then change the color of this text to all white. I will then change the color of the Royale word to blue. Now I will click on the text layer and add a black colored stroke on this layer. Then at the top, I will click the capital T with a curve underneath it. From the style menu, select arc. Make the bend minus 12%. Now you have your logo for your channel. Now save, click file, save as, and make sure to save it as a .png file format. Once you have this saved, I'm now open right up a here, video editor you of to, your uh, choice. This, he, he did something very important right there. The way he created his logo, that's how you should be making yours. Do not overcomplicate it. And you might be wondering, well, how can you give your opinion? Well, I've been doing art for a long time, since I was a child, right? Um, All the way through high school, took um advertising design, then went to graphic art in um VCU, Virginia Commonwealth University, and worked in the field and currently run a web agency where I incorporate design and logos and things of that nature. So I'm speaking from a little bit of experience. But um it should keep it simple. One simple rule to obey, like I see cl clients bring to me like these what they there's something they've been working on for a long time. They they knew they want to start this business and they've been working on this logo. And it's got all these complicated detailed designs and drawings in it and stuff like that. I'm like, well, how is that gonna look when you shrink it down to a logo on a business card? It's not gonna work. A, a logo should be able to be legible when it's very small, like if it's on a business card, all the way up until it's on a billboard or on a box truck. That's why most of your big brands, they don't even put type in their logos. They just use symbols. Hence, Coke. Well, they use that. They got their type style, but you know, they got their, um, their, um, their symbol or Nike. They got their symbol. You know what I'm saying? Apple, they got their symbol. 
But you know what I'm saying? For you to keep it simple, do exactly what he did. Just use some type and you know what I'm saying? Base and use some of your color that's probably that you use on your merch, like on your hats, your vehicles, and stuff like that. But keep your logo simple. Just use type, okay? And make sure the type is legible, small and big. All right? So let's get back to it. The video editor that we will be using in today's video is Premiere Pro. The video editor is by far the best video editor when no, it, it comes ain't. to making money from YouTube. <laughs> no, no, it ain't. Um, and I know why he's going to say that, because he's going to say you could research on um, YouTube and you could find it for free. Guess what? If you join our free group down below, it's free. You're going to learn how to, how to, how to, you're going to learn networking. You're going to network with you other entrepreneurs, like-minded people like yourself. You also get access to a free credit training so you can repair your credit. So you can start using your credit to start buying the things that you're normally too scared to purchase with your own money. Use the bank's money. Just be responsible with it. And it's called Cartel Credit Coaching. Or cartel, yeah, Cartel Credit Coaching or something like that. We might change it because you don't know. I don't know how long this video will be evergreen for, but the the group will be down below. You know what I'm saying? And we're going to have, I'm going to have a link to somewhere that I found Camtasia 9 or the latest Camtasia for you free. And trust me, it's very stable now. And it the learning curve is very low. You can jump on it. And within day one, you're going to be a professional video editor. Day one. That's how low the learning curve is in, in uh, Camtasia. The program he's talking about, not so much. And I've worked with both of them. Let's get back to it. Remember, it's in the group. You should appreciate that. I want to see. You better like and subscribe. Better like and subscribe. whilst re-uploading videos. You can also access this for free by searching for it on YouTube. Now in Premiere Pro, click New Project. Then name this project Compilation Episode 1 and click OK. Now double-click the bottom left where it says Import Media to Start. Now import the logo you just created in Photoshop. Drag it onto the timeline. Now make sure that this image is dragged onto the second video layer called V2. Now extend the length of this layer so it reaches 8 minutes long. Now click the padlock icon to lock this layer. Now import all the TikTok videos you have just downloaded. Now drag all those TikTok videos onto the timeline. Now resize the image so that it's in the top left of the screen. Now your last step is to just make sure you add yourself a voiceover. In Premiere Pro, to start recording if you have a USB microphone attached. If not, you can watch the preview of the YouTube video and record the voiceover on your phone. Then import that file onto your PC and sync it up in Premiere Pro. That way you can still record a voiceover if you don't have enough money to purchase a microphone. How do I make an intro? Well, let's make an intro for free really quickly. First off, head over to panzoid.com forward slash creations. Now, On this website, this. there are many Panzoid. free intro. And I have, a, I have a creator's pack um, as a bonus included with the PLR MMR pack that I have down below for only $15. $15, 100 plus products. You've already seen it down below. But um, anyway... It has um the creators pack in it, which is a free bonus, and it has like all these free tools that I use for client work, for the work you probably see um on my videos and stuff like that. And I've never seen Panzoi before. If you've seen Panzoi before, let me know how long it's been uh, been out there. You know what I'm saying? This is a it's a pretty neat program. It looks a little bit archaic, so it looks like um might have some some age on it, some age on it, but uh. Yeah, but that's a free resource. Like I told you, you stick you stick around with this video, you're going to get some free tips. There you go, a free tool, Panzoid. I'll put a link for that down at the bottom so you could find it real quick. All right? Let's resume. Pro templates that you can use. Browse this website until you find one that you like. 
or one that has the same colors as your channel logo. When you have found the one you like, click Open in Clipmaker. Now on the left hand side, click the Cube Object button. Now where it says Text Name, click this and enter your channel name and press Enter. If it says Name four times, then you need to do it for each time. I will enter my channel name four times. I will enter TikTok Royale. Now that that's done, click the download button on the left hand side. Now click Start Video Render. Now we have to wait until this render is done. This should take around 60 seconds. Now that our intro is done, just make sure you save the download to your folder. Now we need to make sure that we can import this file into our video editing software. Because Premiere Pro doesn't support MKV files, we need to use this website, cloudconvert.com forward slash MKV converter. Once you're on this website, open and upload your intro. Then select Convert to MP4. Then once it's finished, download it. Now open up Premiere Pro and let's add our intro video. We now need to resize the intro to make it full screen. And we need to make the intro a little shorter. My intro is around 12 seconds. We will trim this to just five. Now we just add the intro before our content, add our voiceover. So let's see what a 30 second preview will actually look like. Because there's no point in me making the entire video when I'm not publishing the video to a YouTube channel. So overall, what your video should look like. Apocalypse. Welcome to TikTok Royale. Look at this instant karma. <laughs> the only thing that I personally would add if I had more time is I would add an animated outro. I think an animated outro is actually really easy to do and you can do it by going on the same Panzoid website and finding an outro and either download and customize it and put it at the end of your videos. Or what you can do is you can simply go on Envato Elements and search for an intro template. There are many different video templates that you can easily use. If you don't want to use Envato <laughs> Elements... Right. Use Envato Elements. You can't beat it. I got a subscription myself. Super inexpensive. I mean, I pay monthly and it's still not that expensive. You know what I'm saying? You get yearly, you get even cheaper. It's even less expensive. And you get access to millions of, of creative elements. I'm talking about everything from video to websites, uh, graphics, templates, overlays for Twitch, streaming, everything. Anything you could think of that is creative-wise. So you could put together whole projects with things off of um, uh, Envato more than likely. You know what I'm saying? Like, and, and, and they give you licenses that you can use across the board. Very simple, simple licensing to use as well. Very simple to clear things so you could get them monetized on YouTube. So yeah, I have a link to that uh, down below too as well. You can always use YouTube. Just search for free intro template with a software of your choice. So for example, because I use Premiere Pro, what I would type in on YouTube is free intro template Premiere Pro. And then I would download one and use it in my video. Now the thing with this entire tutorial is that this is something that is very easy to do. Meaning that this tutorial is something that I would most certainly give it a try. This is because everyone that is trying to make money on YouTube whilst re-uploading videos is trying old outdated methods that no longer work. This is something that really does work and something that I'm currently doing myself on many different channels. So if I were you, and I see this video, and it doesn't have a lot of views, I would try it before it does get more popular. Because as you know with trends, and as things get more popular, things become less effective. If everyone's doing one method, then that method is going to become less effective over time. Meaning that if you were to start doing this now, a year from now, you'd be earning a decent income. You could earn anywhere from $1,000 to $20,000 per month. This is because channels like this tend to gain a lot of viewership quickly. And even though channels like this don't have a high CPM, because of the sheer number of views that these kinds of videos get, it still provides you with a crazy amount of income. 
which is why channels like this are popping up all the time. Now, although this free video tutorial was somewhat in depth, I can't put all my knowledge into a single YouTube video, which is why I've made a paid course called Cash Cow Mastery. This course teaches you exactly how you can build your own YouTube channel, where you can make real legit money without making videos. It contains around two hours of high quality edited content that is updated what? every if you want me to, I'll purchase the course and I'll, I'm not going to tell you exactly what he says in it, but no one can corner it, a knowledge. So, yeah. Um, and also, uh, if you want to check out the original video, you don't have to worry about listening to me talking over it. Check down below and you'll find that, uh, that link down below. And you know what? If they uh, have an affiliate program, I might even uh, link the, um, the program that they have down below. But anyway, if you're inside the group, you can always pick my brain. See, I don't mind speaking, I don't mind talking. Yeah, um, and also, you wanna subscribe right now because I'm gonna be giving updates on my experience with this um strategy right here. I'm going to be launching about three, at least three channels that's like this. So subscribe, stick around, you know what I'm saying, and see what I do with it, you know what I'm saying? But I wouldn't hesitate yourself, get into it. You seeing what it is, it's not that difficult. And the channels can grow large, fast. And I already gave you a way that you can monetize it right off the rip. You don't even have to wait for the AdSense to kick in. If you find this guy has a, 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 a affiliate link, which I hope they do. If they have an affiliate link or if you find someone else that has a training video, you know what I'm saying, about something like this, get an affiliate link from them and hook it in the video. If you like to make money off videos like this, bang. See? Easy like that. You have to make the video. You have to do the training. No creating. Just find an affiliate link for a training program on how to do cash cow videos and put it down below. I'm pretty sure you could go to ClickBank and you could find something like that. If I find something like that, I'm going to put it up there so you can see what it looked like. Hopefully these people come up with a uh, training uh, uh, or an affiliate link for their training programs. They do, I'll use it. All right, so you know who it is. Reggie Pinkster, Mr. I Want to Go Fast and Easy. And it is.